Hey guys, we're back. Um, I got the parts and pieces out. Um, I've cut them all up on the chop saw. Didn't figure you guys really needed to see that. So here are the parts and pieces. I'll go over sizes and such. So to start with, um, I make two boxes at a time. Um, so I used two 10 foot two by tens and one six foot one by ten. They are both one by tens, not two by tens. So let's go here. The top here, the top left piece there is the top, and it is nine, it is um, 14 inches by the nine and a quarter, basically, is what it'll come in at. The bottom is seven and three quarters by nine and a quarter. Then you've got the two, the left side, these two, actually all three of these pieces are cut the same and they are 23 and a half inches by nine and a quarter. Um, you've got the left side, the front and the right side, which is the door. And then the back is 31 inches by nine and a quarter. So we'll put all those together. So again, the back is 31. The three sides are 23 and a half. The bottom is seven and three quarters. And the top is 14. And those are all made out of a one by 10. So if you've got cedar, you can make it out of that. Um, it's hard to find one by 10 cedar really and the prices. The pine um, works well for me. So there you go. We're going to go with that and I will get you back to and we will start this project. Hey guys, um, I've been working on that restoration, but uh, we're taking a break and waiting for some stuff to come in. Um, and I got wood ducts on the pond. So it's time to build a couple more boxes. Actually, today I got up and we have two, count them, two pair of wood ducks on the pond. So we are definitely putting out another box. Um, I built a pond a couple years ago and, uh, you know, I did it not only you know, I guess as, as, you know, hunters and fishermen and such, you know, it was like, oh, you're taking, you're taking, you know, we need to get back a little bit. And so I built a pond, um, you know, not just for giving back. I wanted to enjoy it. It's uh, almost 40,000 gallons of water. Um, it's got a six foot deep end that you can jump sh shallow dive and such in. And so, uh, yeah. A um, couple waterfalls, a uh, bubble of rock, nice habitat. I'll take you out there someday, come summer, when we can really get out there. Right now it's kind of a marsh, um, but so anyways. Um, we got wood ducks, we're going for a box. So, um, you want to conserve, I guess that was my point. You want to be a, a good steward and you want to give back a little bit. Um, I put a wood duck box out, I seen them there last year. So I put out a box last year. It wasn't quite too inviting, but this year we have eggs actually in the box. Um, I've witnessed her go in and out myself. So it's happening. Um, we got more ducks. And so here we go. Um, I showed you the parts and pieces already. Um, we're going to go over a couple of quick things that I've done um, pre that are pretty simple that I didn't really think anybody needed any help with. Um, on the top, we've cut it to 14 inches, but I've actually taken it and chamfered the top of it just a little bit, so it's kind of got a drain edge to it, if you see that. Um, actually, whoop, new camera, we can just zoom right in on that bad boy. See if we can get you there. Okay, so. I've cut just a little 45 on the top. Boom, it'll sit on there nicely. Okay. The bottom, I've actually taken and just made a 
cross across it and put five holes in it for drainage. Um, they're wet, haha, -ha, they're ducks, and so it'll just drain on through. So that's that. Ha, I finished the right side, guess what? There's nothing done to the right side. You cut it 23 and a quarter and that was that. So I believe that what it was, 23 and a quarter, 23 and a half maybe. 23 and a half, I guess is what that one is, seven and three quarters, okay. The front is the one that's really going to need um, a little bit of work and that's why I haven't done really anything to it other than drill for the door, um, but we'll go over that when I do that. And then the door. Um, again, what I've done on the door is I have taken and chamfered that just a little bit because it's going to swing, it's going to have a little flip. So we want this here to roll just a little bit um, inside the box. And then our back. So let's, uh, let's kind of get to the process of one, the, the front. So what I've done, hold on, let me get zoomed back out. What I have done is again, like I say, we've cut all the pieces pre. Now, don't forget your handy dandy box so you can keep your, your table nice and done. So, you got the three and a half inch hole saw and you got the two and a half inch hole saw. So, the way this works on, um, for putting the, the hole in, it really kind of makes a difference of your height. Um, because they don't want it too close to the top and they can't be too close to the bottom. They like to be, in their mind, closer to the top. So, they'll see the hole closer to the top, yada yada, that's where it goes. Anyway, so what I have done is I have come down five and a quarter inches from the top down to center. I have found center and then to make the hole, you're going to want the hole is going to be four and a half inches wide. And so, that being said, calculate it out. You'll take your, your center hole of, and you want that three and a half, so you'll put three and a half. And then figure, go out from center, two and a quarter, two and a quarter, because that's your four and a half. Make your mark. And actually then come back from the two and a quarter, you're going to want to, or yeah, two and a quarter, two and a quarter gets four and a half, and then come back an inch and a quarter because that will give you your two and a half inch hole for your outside. And so then from your four and a half inch mark, come back an inch and a quarter, make this mark, and that will be your other two and a half inch hole. So now, so you don't have hogging and wobbling and this and that, you've got to do this kind of, this is where the real trick to this, this whole process is not drilling all the way through with this three and a half inch drill. So to start with, we will take it and, and I'll show, you'll see why here in just a second. So take this and get this started nicely. A little bit deeper than that though. We want it deep enough that when all this other stuff is out of the way, this will have a place to sit and not jump all over it. And I'll show you that in a second here. Okay. All right, that's it for the three and a half for now. Take it off and set it to the side. Put your two and a half on. Okay, so we'll get our two and a half inch on. All right, so now is we'll drill these ones all the way through. Let's 
tighten this over the edge. And a half now. <clears throat> We're done with that. Okay, so now that center drill, the pilot drill, there ain't nothing there. So if we didn't have anything to go, we'd be S O L. So, because we've dropped that down in there, it gives this hole saw a little spot to sit, and we can finish off that hole. So. There they go. Oh, easy clean out. Voila! We have a hole for a duck. Now, I'm not going to do it. I didn't do it on the first one, and I guess you can if you want to, but I think it kind of actually adds to the little character of it, is uh, leave the cool little hole, how it's not perfect, but you could take and cut those off with the jigsaw, square those off, but we're not gonna. We will, though, take a little sandpaper, Kind of round those edges off so she, nobody gets their little Badinsky kind of oh sliver. Nothing like getting a sliver in your junk. So we'll just clean that up a little bit. You guys know how to make a Kleenex dance, right? You put a little boogie in it. So, <laughs> all right, wasn't that great. But anyways, all right, so there's your hole. Now for the back, and this is key important. Um, some guys will use a like a wire mesh or what. I don't like putting anything wire in there. I ain't never seen no tree that's got wires in it. So what I do, is and again I did this to start with I did this <clears throat> on my miter saw chop saw however you want to call it um, and I set it at a depth of a quarter inch and I run this down you don't want it too deep but you want it deep enough that um, the little guys when they're trying to climb out they've got some traction so here's how we do that is I've got, now, when you do this too, I mean, if you do this, actually, this will work really nice because I can get further out with a deeper cut the smaller the blade is. So, this will actually work rather nicely. So, when doing this, but we don't want to cut it all the way through because we're going to have sides to it and such. So, what I've done is I've marked in each side here. Let me hold that up and let me zoom it in just a little bit here. So what I've done is I have taken inside there, you can see just barely here. Hold on. Let me get that a little DACA right here. I've come in three quarters of an inch on each side and made a line. And then I came down one inch and every one inch 
we will go down and make a slice down to about six inches. We're gonna fill up a good chunk of this with pine shavings or cedar shavings actually. Um, mine actually have pine needles. They took some pine needles up in there. So kind of whatever it is. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut down, oops, where are you at? We're gonna cut down these marks here and go from there. All right, we'll see ya. Okay, so now to keep those nice and straight, we can make a quick mark just to kind of make sure we're on from our three quarter line to our three quarter line, but we're gonna use this since my, since my table on my saw actually had, oh, let me uh, zoom you back out. Zoom you back in. I want to speed that up a little bit. Okay, so now what I've done is I've come down an inch from my hole, made a mark, and I've come down every inch, marking it across from my three quarter line to my three quarter line. And then I use that to. Then what I do is I come up here, my table, like I say, on my saw is one inch. So now I can take this and drop this in here right on the side. Make a cut and then come down to that and make another cut. That way they're nice and straight. Or you can just cut them. Stick. Okay, so we cut that down to six inches down. We're gonna fill that up with pine shavings. So now they got some traction to get their little, little paws, claws on. Okay, so that's that, that's that. Again, we'll drop just a quick little sand on that. Anything too, lead, don't want any lead on there. Sorry, I don't have a, tungsten pencil. Don't tell the ODFW, I guess, huh? Okay, so our front is done. Um, our back is done. Our marks are okay. So now <clears throat> I guess our next thing to do is to start to put it together. Um, one thing we can do actually, let's do this real fast, is we will mark, that way we don't get in there and have an issue. Come to center, go down an inch and a half, up an inch and a half to center. So we are nine and a quarter, so we're four and five eighths. And we are an inch and a half down. And let's pop a little hole in there real quick. We're done with this. Done with that. I need this little guy. Okay, so go to center and down an inch and a half, drill a hole. I use that for my mounting. Find me a nice tree to screw it to. I've got a couple of them I already have in mind for these two boxes. So, four and five eighths, up an inch and a half, drill another quick hole. Just so happens I carpenter, I have nice tapered drill bit, so. Okay, so that's that, that's that. Those are all screwed. Let me keep that on there because I got a couple more to do. 
Actually, I don't, but I'll see what I do. So, okay, so we got that, that, that done. All right, so let's start putting it together. Now, again, you guys could use um, screws, or if you've got nail guns, then go ahead and nail it together. Um, I would use like an inch and a half or so screw. Get half and half. I'm, I'm going to glue it together. And I have my nail gun. So we'll get rid of the saws. I'll get rid of this for right now. This and that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Dust off them safety glasses. Okay, so first things first, we're going to attach the right side to the front. So take your left side your door and just stand it up there. Use it as a spacer. Take your top, get it ready. Get your side, figure out which, where, how you want it to be. Actually, you know, you want it more actually naughty on the outside so it kind of looks, I guess, more, more inviting maybe. And then let's, let's put a little glue on this. Take that door and slide that up there. Make sure we're past it a little bit so where we got a little bit of extra to where when we screw it together, it's got some move, you know, I mean, just a little bit. You don't want it tight or, you know, super tight. You want it semi-tight, but not, not super tight. Okay. Quick nail in the center of that. Bang, bang. Okay, now. Okay, now the back. So the back we will take and measure down. Three and a half inches at three and a half inches. Is the top of your box. So that will go there. That will go there and that will go there. Okay. Make a quick mark down here at the bottom. Once you get it all lined up here down at the very bottom, kind of once you get it all squared up there, make a quick mark just around so you know where to kind of put your glue back on your on your back side here. Now what I like to do is I'll just take a little bit of this glue and then run it right down in the back side of all my joints. That way I get a nice, a nice bead in there and everything. Let's just put this back up here for right now. We're done with you anyway. <clears throat> okay. Finish off that bead of glue. Okay. 
That's that. All right, now the door. <laughs> so, hmm, good thing I did that before. So what we need to do, and what I should have had you do, on the front, before you put it all together, which I did, and I didn't show you, was drill your hole. Now, because you're using three quarters, you want to pivot it in the center. So you want it three eighths in. And I like a little bit of space at the top. So I go down a half. That way I can leave an eighth inch gap at the top of the, at the top of the door here. So let me spin this around here. So as you see, I'll zoom this in here a little bit. So what I do is I leave a little space at the top up here. An eighth of an inch. That way when I drop my screw and this will pivot. Okay? So we'll take that. We will get a couple of these screws. I got two inch screws. Inch and three quarter screws actually. Get that going. Okay, <clears throat> um, eighth of an inch really is about a screw. So if you take one of your screws here, put that up to center, push this up to your screw, and then screw that down into your door. Bing bang. And then on the back, what you're gonna need to do is flip it over and measure down a half inch. So, where you've got this space here at the bottom of your top, at the bottom of it, measure down a half and make a mark here and then in three eighths of an inch here in three eighths and do the same thing drop a screw down in right here and we we'll want to push this out here kind of hold this out to where it's flush it should stay nice and square, but we want to hold it flush with the outside so we get it right in where we want it to be. Drop our screw down in here. And presto, we have a door. Okay, now we'll flip this back over. And underneath our door, Actually, it works out kind of nice too because you actually have something now underneath your, your floor to grab your door. So take your, your drill and measure up about an inch and a half in three eighths ish. Now, you know, in three eighths and drill this down through and drill that into your door. And then what I do actually on this one, since you've got that pilot 
and you can do it up there too if you drill that down through and then pull it out but kind of a process but if you drill this down through here now this will allow this to come in and out a little bit easier and this is your door so you come in bing ba bang and pretty much there is a finished wood duck box a wood wood duck box even better say that three times fast wood wood duck box we have a door that opens up nicely so you can get in change it out Pull all the garbage out and this and that after your season. Close her back up. Um, what I'm thinking about doing actually is uh, just welding like a washer onto the end of my screw, just tacking it on there, and then I don't even have to take a screw get with me at all, a screwdriver with me to tighten that back on. Um, now, like I say, what you want to do is. Um, just fill it up about six inches or so, you know, somewhere in here-ish about with some wood shavings, cedar, pine. Um, like I say, um, everybody said that they don't put anything in their boxes, but um, I left a big <laughs> couple of, I didn't, I, I had pine shavings in there, but I thought because I have a big huge pine tree outside, um, that maybe some big pine needles would work. And, uh, but I didn't really want to disturb it. And so I grabbed them with plastic with my latex gloves and I went out there and I grabbed a bunch of needles from around the tree. And I put those just underneath the box and, and let them, you know, if they were gonna, put them up and in there. And sure enough, you know, there's some in there. So, you know, I guess it's kind of what they're wanting. Um, I don't really know, I'm not a wood duck, but I'm just trying to help out. Um, they have like 18 at a time sometimes, 20 ducks at a time. So having a couple boxes is fine, but um, um, having, having, I guess, too many boxes is not good because they say that, that they'll lay them in all the boxes and never get to all the boxes to incubate them. So if you just have a couple of boxes, they'll jump from box to box and, and handle each smaller brood, I guess, whichever, however a duck is, um, and, and go from there. So again, I'm gonna put this next one together. Um, hopefully, you know, this has been Hopefully this has been uh, interesting and helpful. Um, again, you know, kick a kid off of a video game, take them out, make memories. Uh, you know, a hunt lasts maybe a month or two. Memories last forever. So get a kid out into the woods, make some memories, take them hunting and fishing. Um, till next time, probably I was gonna say be back with the deer, but actually I think I've got something really cool in store for you, um, taxidermy wise. So stay tuned, um, like and subscribe. I'll just give you a, I'll just give you a heads up. I don't know exactly what we're gonna see, but I think we're gonna see some cool of how tos making forms and such but we're going to the taxidermy supply house in lebanon oregon um, research taxidermy supply and uh we're gonna take you down there walk you through meet the people uh we're gonna walk through with the taxidermist down there so again hit like and subscribe hit your alert button so you know when they come out um i've got a a uh, Otter box, weasel box coming out, uh, video, um, got a couple of twists to it, how I make them. Um, everything, I got everything that kind of has a little twist to it because I just like making things a little bit easier for me 
and if it helps me, I'm sure it helps others. So um, again, peace out. I'm gonna go hang this. I think my ducks are gone. Um, we had, again, like I say, we had two ducks out there, um, two sets, so I'm gonna make another one of these real quick. I've already got the parts and pieces cut, and uh, we can go from there. Thanks you guys a lot for stopping. Um, I hope these videos help and um, you enjoy them. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks, bye-bye.